Other big story tonight, folks, threats of violence against Metro Atlanta schools and two, diff two, diff two separate incidents tonight. Police have charged a 15 year old Logansville high school student with making terroristic threats against the school. And in Atlanta, police charge a 29 year old man accused of threatening a school administrator and staff members at a local school. The threats coming just one week after the school killings in Michigan. And so many parents, students and law enforcement feeling uneasy and on edge. John Sherrick explains how they're working to stop the threats. Since the beginning of the school year in Metro Atlanta alone, there have been at least a dozen threats of violence against schools, usually from students who've been identified quickly, arrested, charged with felonies, zero tolerance. This is not a game, it's not funny. You're gonna be charged with a serious felony. You're gonna ruin yourselves. It's extremely serious. And it's everywhere. This is Burke County Sheriff Alfonso Williams. His community has raised $4,000. violence against the school. In reward money to help his investigators find out who threatened the high school last week, which forced the school to shut down this past Friday. In fact, on that Friday, according to Newsweek, more than 500 schools across the country had to shut down because of copycat threats following the school shootings in Michigan. We're never going to be able to control control what a person writes or says on social media. It emboldens the coward to continue the threats. If a student can get a school shut down for half a day or full day or several days, that's exactly what they want. Sheriff Williams fighting nonstop baseless threats that spread instantly on social media. And he has to take every threat seriously as if it is true. Tuesday afternoon, we saw that someone tweeted there was an active shooter at a Metro Atlanta school. We contacted the school directly at 420. Four minutes later, confirmation in all caps, no active shooter. It was a fight off campus. The tweet was never retracted. And it is creating more hysteria. Fighting threats and rumors with facts and with swift, sure punishment. Fighting, but not winning yet. So if you think you need to report a threat, just reach out to your local law enforcement agency for help. And we have information on potential warning signs on our website at 11alive.com.